What's up party people, G5 Productions in a place to be, Superman first class in the mix, and today we're going to talk about how to get the Rode Wireless Go into an analog mixer. Let's get it. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Gerald with G5 Productions. Excited to share with you all once again. Now in this video, we are going to discuss how to get the Rode Wireless Go into an analog mixer. And really it doesn't matter which analog mixer you use. I just wanted to show you the right way to get it in there. Now in this video, I will be using the Yamaha MG10X Shoe. It's a fabulous mixer, very popular amongst content creators. So um, let's get into our content. But before we do, if you guys are looking for us on social media, you can find us on all these platforms right here. And for my party people on YouTube, I'm going to just go ahead and ask you guys to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to keep up with all these cool videos, all you got to do is rock that bell. Let's get into the video. To clear up any confusion right off the back on why I'm wearing two microphones right here, well the one on the bottom is the Shure QLXD and this is what I'm using to actually make this video and the one up top here this is the Smart Lab Plus so I'm going to connect that microphone into the wireless go because I like using lapel microphones that allows me to get away from the mixer get away from the camera plus I can have hands free and I'm not stuck to any like boom mics or fixed positions. I could really get around and do what I need to do. So let's go ahead now and talk about the Smart Lab Plus and uh, what we need to do with that. So with this particular connection, it is known as TRRS. And before we can connect it to the transmitter of the wireless go, we have to convert that first to TRS. So this is the male TRRS. We have a female TRRS. And all we got to do is connect the two, which now turns into TRS, tip wing sleeve. So here is the uh, transmitter and I'm going to go ahead right in the top of that hook it in there because this is a TRS input right there and to turn it on all I have to do is press this and hold it until I see the two blue lights. So one light means on the other lights mean audio signal and we are good to go. Now just so you are aware you don't really have to connect the microphone to this it has a built in microphone right here on top. But when you do hook a lapel microphone to it, uh, the built-in microphone is disabled. So I'm gonna take this and put it over here kind of uh, out of the way for now on the mixer because I'm good to go with that. Now, as it relates to the receiver, this is gonna get a wireless signal from the transmitter. So to turn it on, there's the on button right there where my thumb is. I'm just gonna press that and hold it until I see the display come on, which is pretty quick and boom, just like that. We now have audio from this microphone into the transmitter and then wirelessly to this. So this is the piece we have to get audio from into the mixer. So here's how it works. The first theory I'm gonna uh, show you guys is with a TRS cable that converts to XLR. Now to get this into the Yamaha MG10XU, I have to convert this to a male because I don't have any other cables like this at the moment. So this is gonna be theory number one. TRS to XLR and let's go ahead and get this barrel connector male to male and attach it so we can physically hook this into the mixer. So here's the out port right here, TRS and let's go to the mixer. All right, so here we are on channel two in the mixer right there with the XLR cable accordingly and I'm gonna just fix this so you guys can see the display on the receiver here. On channel two, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the gain all the way up. And what I'm looking for down here to first see if this light is clipping. If it does clip, what I would do is back off a little bit, maybe a quarter turn, and then turn up my volume. So let's go ahead now and turn up the volume since I don't see any clipping. And uh, I'm gonna go about three quarters away. And if you don't hear anything, it's basically because we are not getting audio from this receiver into the mixer. I'm going to turn down channel one, which is the QLXD mic. Channel two is the actual Rode Wireless Go system. So let's one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. We are back with audio with the QLXD mic and uh, we have metering again. But once I turn that down, I couldn't hear the Rode Wireless Go, even though the gain is all the way up. 
and the uh, volume is about three quarters of the way up. So that connection uh, from the receiver to channel two just simply does not work. Turn the gain down, turn the volume down before we disconnect so we can avoid any pop sounds and noises. So with theory number two, we got a couple of connections here to make. So here is TRS to TRS. This cable is made by Rode. And I'm gonna just go ahead again and stick this cable right into the receiver into the output right there and as you can see we are still getting signal from this mic through the transmitter to the receiver here and also I'm gonna take this cool headphone uh, mini jack so TRS in there to TRS out here but quarter inch so we're gonna go right into the combo jack of the mixer and again we're gonna go into channel 2 here and uh, fasten this thing accordingly so you can see the display there's the transmitter and uh, we're gonna gain this all the way up again. And I don't see any clipping on the light here. I know it's a little bit hidden, but you can see a couple of red lights right here. So that's what's on all the channels there. So let's volume up, see what happens. Now, if you were able to hear me with the Rode Wireless Go at this time, you would hear some phasing, because again, you would hear me on channel one and channel two. But to see and test the theory, if I'm in fact getting audio out of the system, on channel two, let's turn out channel one. This is the QLXD. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. Okay, so here we are. We are back with volume on the QLXD mic, but we didn't have any audio on channel two with the second configuration. So let's go ahead and talk about that for a little bit. So gain down, volume down, and disconnect this system. So as you can hear and see, both of those different connections didn't work. And the reason why so far um, they didn't work is because although the transmitter and receiver both have um, TRS outputs out of here, so the physical connections uh, were correct so far, but on the end and at the mixer, even though those combo jacks have three different connections, like you have a three pin XLR cable that can go in there, or you have a quarter inch jack cable that can go in there. What you really need is an unbalanced quarter inch jack cable to go down there, or you need an unbalanced uh, XLR cable to go in that particular combo jack there. So let's talk about now the Rode VXLR because this is what we need to make it happen. So I guess for the sake of the video, we'll call this theory number three. And uh, here is the receiver. We're still getting signal right from the uh, transmitter there. So we're just gonna take this Rode TRS to TRS cable, hook it right on in there. And then of course, uh, with the VXLR, this thing is actually going to convert a 3.5 millimeter balanced to unbalanced XLR. I know that's weird, but we'll talk about that some more too. So let's go back to the mixer. So here we are back at channel two, right into it. And again, we're gonna fix the receiver here so you can see the display. Now this time we're gonna go ahead again, we're gonna gain this all the way up, right? And I'm looking for a clip light. I don't really see it clipping, so I'm just gonna really turn the volume up at this point. Let's see what happens. Now again, if you by chance hear some phasing, that means you are hearing two instances of me. In this case, you are hearing me on channel one through the QLXD, and you are hearing me on channel two through the Rode Wireless Go system. And to test that theory, I'm simply gonna go ahead and turn down this microphone on channel one. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now here's the difference. Not only uh, should you be hearing me, cause I can't hear it, but I can at least see metering right here. So um, just to balance that a little bit, I'll turn it down some. But the point is the Rode VXLR is what you need to assist getting audio into the mixer with the Rode Wireless Scope. So now that we know that works, I can take this transmitter, walk around the room, do other stuff. I could clip it to my shirt or down in my pocket. So it's out of sight, out of mind, and just, you know, do what I gotta do. So this is how you get the Rode Wireless Go audio signal into an analog mixer. And it doesn't matter the mixer brand per se, I'm just using the Yamaha MG10XU for this video. Now let's talk about um, the cabling systems a little bit and just kinda give it to you guys warp speed on what's going on and why the 
first two systems did not work. One, two, one, two, we have audio with the QLXD again. Here we go. So to make this make a little more sense why the first two systems didn't work, I want you guys to imagine like cell phones that still have this connection right here, right? You could literally put this in there and vlog with this mic into a cell phone because they are meant to receive TRRS. And the reason why you have four different connections here because when you get your cell phones that come with earbuds and a built-in microphone, you have a left and right split for a stereo right there in your ears and then you have a TS for the microphone part of it. So you need four connections, right? Now, from there though into a mixer, you have to convert this because this is one too many connections to go right into the TRS of the transmitter. So this is why you have to convert it from four connections to the three just like that to keep it simple. And then you are then able to uh, plug this right in here and everything is correct. Now obviously on the other end it's going to be wireless sent from the transmitter to here but in order to get and continue with the TRS you need the TRS to come out of here and into the receiver. Now the first two systems the reason why they don't work from here to the uh, mixer is because in a traditional sense you have a TRS here and three pins here and each one of these sections are connected to the three different pins TRS equals pin one two and three here right so it's really a pass-through or one-to-one -one. and obviously the same is going to be here for the barrel connector it's one-to-one -one. so in other words the middle pin here is connected to the middle pin here and the other two corresponding alike so that's how that works in a traditional sense these are still balanced on this end and this end balanced remember that right now with this headphone adapter right this is also balanced except for when you plug a mini jack inside the balanced part of here it just converts it to a bigger connection here but here's the problem why this didn't work when you hook it into the mixer those combo jacks for microphone purposes has to be unbalanced so this is one too many connections into the mixer to make the microphone work okay so I hope you guys follow me okay so now what is happening with the case of the VXLR it's taken in a balanced here and it's converting it to unbalanced here versus this one is balanced here and it's finishing ban balanced here so that's why the first two systems did not work so in this case you have balanced going into balanced here and now unbalanced here and when we plug it into the mixer this is why we're able to get a signal right into channel 2 with no problems so here we go here we go we've got our thingy gonna turn that up we probably don't really have to turn it all the way up but this is just for video sake right and I can cut off the QLXD so there it is so I'm finishing up this video party people I hope y'all got something out of it and for all of you who was on that quest of how to get the Rode Wireless Go into a mixer uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below I was excited to put this video together because I was on the quest to try to figure it out and I really was having a hard time finding uh, the answer to the question now there was uh, you know maybe one or two videos out there that just kind of showed uh, the difference between a VXLR and a VXLR plus or something like that but I was still confused so I decided once I figured this out to make this video so if again if you guys want to follow us on social media there it is you can hit us on all these different platforms and of course to help the G Fire Nation grow please go ahead like that button subscribe to the channel and of course rock that bell if you want to keep up with all these cool videos I'm Gerald with G Fire Productions DJ Sound and Lighting and we have connected the Rode Wireless Go to the Yamaha MG10XU. Let's get it.